This is Nitro Game Injection. Welcome to Nitro Game Injection. I'm your host, Kyle JCRB. Starting us off, there was Arnie Undercover with Fatal Eyes from Tales of Symphonia, a game that is woefully undercovered, if you ask me. Most of the Tales games are. And uh, Bowser the Dog says this is also Mega Man. No, uh, it's not. This is everything is Mega. Okay, never mind. Everything's Mega Man. <laughs> it's the Mega Man show today. Starring me, Mega Man. I'm Mega Man. Hello, Mega Man. I, I see all these Mega Mans are listening. Hello, Mega Mans who are listening. Everything is Mega Man. No, it's an extra game injection. The show where you get games injected into your veins nitroly or something. I don't know what happens on this show. I play video game music, mostly video game music, remixes, and uh, arrangements and other awesome stuff. Stuff you'll find at like Overclocked Remix, The Dwelling of Duels. Of course, all over YouTube nowadays. It's everywhere. <laughs> and yeah, so that's what this show is all about. This episode in particular is uh, most of it, it's a big celebration of games that were released in June. Games that have been released in June. Uh, games have been released in June over the years, I should say. 
Not all games, because I actually have a very special episode coming up next week dedicated to an entire system that was released in June. But this week we're just celebrating individual games. Along with a couple of other things here and there, it's not just dedicated. This episode's not just dedicated to that. And uh, my background music will give you a hint as to uh, one of the games that was released in June. And I will... I won't spoil it for you, but it is Mega Man. I mean, it's not Mega Man. <laughs> that isn't Mega Man either, Bowser the Dog. I don't think you're Mega Man. You might be Mega Man? I don't know. You could be Mega Man. Regardless, I think it's time to get into some other music, shall we? This first one comes from our good buddy Yvonne Hackstock, who's going to be appearing twice in this episode. Because, uh, I want to. I wanted to. I wanted to play two Yvonne Hackstock songs. He'll be showing up a little bit later with an older track of his. But this one is brand new, just released on Overclocked Remix, uh, I don't know, a couple days ago? Earlier this week? It's great stuff. It's from Tekken 7. It's called The Old Man and the Devil. Keep it here. This is Nitro Game Injection. Oh, Bowser the Dog found Mega Man. Whee!
right there was another brand new Overclocked remix. That was 3-Pop with Super Sonic remixing the original Sonic the Hedgehog, of course. Before that, we had a Johan Anderson who's become sort of a fixture on NGI lately. I'm playing a lot of stuff from him. On like every episode recently because he keeps coming out with new stuff and it keeps being pretty good. I keep liking it, so... Hey, that was a recharging mix from Hawkeye for the Commodore 64. Not to be confused with uh, the Marvel Comics character Hawkeye, or the MASH character uh, Hawkeye Pierce, or any other sorts of Hawkeyes that may or may not exist. I'm talking about the game Hawkeye, so just so you know, just in case. And starting us off, there was Evil on the Hackstock with the Old Man and the Devil from Tekken 7. I'm pretty sure that, I'm pretty sure Yvonne is, as I mentioned in the chat, where there's not many people hanging out, but that's cool. It's a bit of a slow day in there. But uh, I'm pretty sure Yvonne is like a time-traveling reincarnation of June Senaway, because June Senaway's not dead, but <laughs> Yvonne Hackstock does a pretty good job of sounding like him, intentionally or unintentionally. So, yeah, he, he does pretty good stuff. <laughs> uh, other than that, yeah, that's gonna be about it as far as songs that are not related to uh, June 2018's birthday blowout. <laughs> so, pretty much from here on until the end of the show, till the last two songs, uh, all of these games, all these remixes are from games that are celebrating their anniversary this month. A milestone anniversary, so once every five years is where I put it at. And the first game that's celebrating an anniversary this year, first game series especially, that's celebrating an anniversary this year is none other than good old John Madden Football, aka Madden, which is just what it's called now, it's just Madden. But it used to be called John Madden Football, that was the name of the original game. And can you believe it? Someone's remixed John Madden Football. It came out on June 1st, 1988 for, I believe it was for the Sega Genesis, which would make it one of the earliest Sega Genesis games if it came out in 88. I know it came out on a lot of systems though too, so uh, let's see here. Oh, of course, it's not going to give me, uh, give me immediate access. Oh, nope, 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 never mind, it was for computers. Oh no, it was for consoles as well. So, oh, that's not the original game. Come on. Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Regardless, Big Head Mode is here with a track called Here's Johnny. This comes from the uh, Game Music for All tribute, Loser, a Sega Genesis tribute album, which uh, apparently was a little bit contentious, the release of that album, because... Uh, some of the artists didn't necessarily appreciate being on an album called Loser, <laughs> which I can understand. I, I, yeah. And, I mean, come on. The Genesis was not a loser. I guess it technically lost to the Super Nintendo in the war, but whatever. Who cares? <laughs> Here's Johnny by Big Head Mode. Keep it here. Snatch your game injection.
Zelda music's really freaking loud. Sorry about that. <laughs> I tried to bring it down pretty quickly there. <laughs> that was Dragon Avenger with Level 99 and Ocean's Andrew with Sign of Fortune from Metal Gear Solid 4, which is celebrating its 10th anniversary this year. Originally released on June 12, 2008. Before that, we had Jake Kaufman, a.k.a. Vert, with Look Behind You, remixing both Day of the Tentacle and Monkey Island, Secret of Monkey Island. Day of the Tentacle, in particular, released June 25th, 1993, so that's 25 years old as of... Jeez, what is today? Well, it will be on Monday, after the, the Monday after the show airs. And uh, before that, we had Big Head Mode with Here's Johnny from uh, John Madden Football. Of course, uh, that's actually the Apple II release date. The Apple II release date preceded every other version of the game by like almost a year, which is kind of crazy. And also I found out that Bethesda co-developed the first Madden game. Because they had apparently developed a football game called Gridiron, and then EA was like, ooh, can you help us finish our John Madden game? And Bethesda was like, sure. And then EA started developing a sequel to the first Madden, and were stealing things from Gridiron, and Bethesda got mad and sued them, so, yeah. <laughs> I remember when Bethesda was like, nobody had heard of them, they're like, what? What is a Bethesda? People were just confused. They didn't get it. I remember when Bethesda, the first I'd ever heard of Bethesda was from their drag racing series, IHRA Drag Racing. And I mean actual drag racing, like with cars. <laughs> and that's the, like the last time I heard of them before like Fallout 3 and all of a sudden it's being developed by Bethesda and I'm like, what, the drag racing guys? That's weird. I didn't realize it. I did not realize. I did not know Bethesda's uh, track record. So. Well, this is a bit of a break in the middle here. I'm kind of breaking up these segments because uh, I didn't want to go on too long without talking a bit. So, let's go ahead and get into the second part of this month's birthday blowout with none other than Banjo-Kazooie, which came out on June 29th, 1998. So next week, next Saturday. And of course, Banjo-Kazooie, a legendary game, brilliant. One of the best N64 games, for sure. Platformers, at least. Good stuff. So I'm going to play Mad Monster Mansion, a remix by Omar 1UP from Pixel Mixer's second album, Songs from a Nightmare, which covers horror games and other horror-related horror themes from video games. I'm going to play it right now. So let's go ahead and get into it. Keep it here. This is Nitro Game Injection.
are the game's celebrating anniversaries this month. You just heard Iron Mage with Alpha the Defect from Mega Man Battle Network 3. That was originally released back in June 24th of 2003, so that one is 15 years old this year. Uh, before that, we had Vic Viper remixing a classic from the original Metal Gear called Jungle. Simply titled Jungle. Uh, that one came out uh, a nondescript release date. All it's known is it came out in June of 1988. There is no specific day, which is pretty standard for games of that era. It's, it's not usually known exactly what day this game came out. Sometimes it's documented and sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's just the month, sometimes it's just the year. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, it's interesting, the, uh, like, the lack of documentation for older games especially. Like, you have to really research this stuff and even then it's hard to find. You can find some, maybe some information in old magazines and old release catalogs that uh, game stores would get back in the day, but it's rare. It's hard to find. Uh, before that, with a, tra with a track from Yvonne Hackstock yet again, I told you he'd be back this, this episode. That was a Not Your Above Average Joe from Beautiful Joe, which came out on June 26, 2003. It's a game I still need to get to. I've only had 15 years. Maybe another 15 and I'll finally actually play it. <laughs> Before that, we had Omar 1-Up starting us off on that block with Banjo-Kazooie's Mad Monster Mansion. All right, well, that's those are the games that are celebrating June's, celebrating birthdays in June, mm, except one. And you're hearing its music behind me right now. That's right. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening from Nintendo for the Game Boy. Uh, arguably the best Zelda handheld game. Uh, some would argue the best Zelda game. I'm not sure. I've played a little bit of it. It's pretty fun. It's definitely a uh, well-done incarnation of Zelda on a handheld system that you'd think wouldn't be able to handle a Zelda-esque game. It's a little bit more straightforward than uh, the original Zelda. It's, it's kind of on a straight path. There isn't too much exploration. It's pretty linear. But... I'd say that actually works it works in its favor considering the type of game that it is and the platform that it's on. And of course has wonderful music. Especially the song behind me right now, Tao Tao Heights. Which is this week's Source Tune Spectrum song. I'm gonna be playing ten remixes of Tao Tao Heights. Ten! I will break it up and I'll come back in it with a break in the middle, but I am playing 10 remixes of Telltale Heights, so strap in, folks. Hope you like this song as much as I do, because, yeah. <laughs> it's a really good song, though, and these remixes have a lot of variation and there's a lot of creativity in them, so let's go ahead and get into it. Starting off with the first one from Materia Collective's uh, multiplayer album which was a tribute to video games, uh, a, a charity tribute to video games. And this one comes from Jake McCoy, and it's simply titled Tal Tal Heights. <laughs> the species says 1010 Heights. Sure, why not? Let's get into it. Keep it here. This is NGI.
Telltale Heights from Zelda Link's Awakening. You just heard a Random Encounters version with a track simply titled Telltale Heights. That was from their album Let Me Tell You a Story. Before that, we had Benjamin Briggs with Climb My Mountain This High, an overclocked remix track that's also featured on Ben Briggs' album Br The Briggs Effect uh, Volume 2. I think that's the name of it. I think it's Volume 2. Uh, great album. Great remix from ben, ben, of course, because Ben is freaking great. Uh, that's also on... Uh, also featured on Zelda Link's Awakening Threshold of a Dream, the overclocked remix Link's Awakening album, which I definitely recommend you check out. Uh, that one is apparently back from 2010. It does not feel that old at all. Uh, it's a great album, though. Definitely recommend you check it out for... Uh, Celebrating Link's Awakening's uh, 25th anniversary? Yeah, that's right. I think. <laughs> Let me check. Yeah. 25th anniversary. So if you're, if you're looking to celebrate it, it's a good way to do it. Also a good way to do it is by listening to Rare Candy. That's from their album Bomber Blue slash Gallant Green. Uh, simply titled Tao Tao Heights. Before that, we had Disco Dan with a classic Overclock remix track, and I do mean classic. A track titled Braving Tal Tal Heights, which might very well be my introduction to this song. <laughs> might be the first time I ever knew that Tal Tal Heights was a thing. 
Uh, really good. The Disco Dan Classic from 2003. Uh, before that, starting us off was Jake McCoy with Telltale Heights from Multiplayer, the Materia Collective album. Also recommend you check that one out for sure. It's good stuff. Materia Collective is freaking... I don't know, they've assembled a really freaking good team, though. They've done some great stuff, so... Yeah. Speaking of great stuff, we've got some Will Rock on deck. This is another Overclocker Remix track. It's titled Mountains of Dream. Uh, Mountain of Dreams. Sorry. <laughs> Mountains of Dream? No. <laughs> Incorrect. Uh, I'm having a good time over here. Are you having a good time? I totally am. Apparently, this is the first game that uh, Will Rock ever played and beat it. And ever played and beat. <laughs> so... Congratulations, Will. <laughs> Let's get into the music. I did this is this is, hmm.
With that, we come to the end of this trip through Telltale Heights. You just heard Schnabubula's version called Tall Tall Heights. Ooh, a little bit of a variation there. That was from his album VGM Cast of Volume 1, where he livestreamed himself improvising piano tunes on the fly, basically covering VGM remixes through his, from his head to his fingers and into your ears, like with no preparation other than listening to the original song. In other words, that dude's a freaking maniac. <laughs> Before that, we had The Only Deer Alive with uh, his arrangement of Tao Tao Heights. A pretty great run, a really long prog rocky style kind of wall of sound in your face version of it. I really enjoy that one. Before that, we had Zircon, which, by the way, it's his birthday, so happy birthday, Zircon. That was Clash at the Mountains, 
an overclocked remix track from, jeez, I want to say, yeah, 2005. So a very early track for Zircon. Uh, before that, we had Victor the Guitar Nerd with a track from Pixel Mixer's album Hylian Downfall, which covers a variety of 2D uh, Zelda games. That was from Disc 3, which covers Link's Awakening in full. Of course, simply titled Telltale Heights. And starting us off was Will Rock. Yeah, that guy. With a Mountain of Dreams. Another Overclocked Remix track that goes back... Uh, it goes back a ways. It goes back to 2009. And, yeah. That's it. That's all for this edition of Nitro Game Injection, by the way. We are at the end, officially. I do have two tracks left to close us out. So don't go away quite yet. But I hope you enjoyed this show. Maybe end up a little shorter than usual, but not too bad. Uh, I just want to mention that if you head on over to KNGI.org, you can find archived episodes of NGI, along with many other shows that I highly recommend you check out. And, of course, if you want to support the show and the network and me and all that good stuff, you can head on over to patreon.com slash KNGI, where I'm, uh trying to keep up with stuff <laughs> it's been kind of tough to uh, keep up i'm supposed to have like a monthly poll that i haven't done in a few months because i'm <laughs> i'm failing at it i'm sorry guys i will try to uh, get something up there for next month but in the meantime i hope you're enjoying this show regardless and if you think it's worth your time and your money to invest into it i definitely definitely appreciate that because yeah, it's, it helps. Every little bit helps. So, I think that's all I have this week to mention. Next week, I'm going to be doing a tribute to the MSX. The MSX, as of uh, this month, is also 30 years old. And actually, on the... Actually, the day of broadcasting is the day after the original MSX launch. So if you're not familiar with the MSX, it was a computer platform similar to IBM PC compatibles and stuff like that. Um, that was pretty much Japan exclusive. It did have some worldwide distribution, but not much. It was popular in Japan, and it's where a lot of good Konami and Hudson Soft games got their start. So you're going to be hearing remixes from Castlevania, and I'm trying to think what else. Um, Gradius, also known as Nemesis. Uh, also Salamander. Adventure Island. I want to say Bomberman was also in there, but I'm not sure. Uh, don't forget Metal Gear. Metal Gear. And yeah, so going to be paying tribute to the MSX with a whole bunch of remixes from games from it. So I hope you will tune in because there are a ton of games on the thing that I was not that I was surprised to see. So that's what's coming next week. But in the meantime, I'll leave you with these two tracks. The first one comes from Ga Metal. It's from Splatoon 2, and shh, it's actually not released yet. I'm not. I don't know if I'm supposed to play this or not. Shh. <laughs> It'll be released by the time this goes public. It's Title Rush from Splatoon 2. And then closing us out is a track from Mass Effect 2 by Ro Panyaganti and Lord Biff Music. It's called Suicide Mission. That'll close us out. And in the meantime, hope you guys have a good week, and I will see you on the next edition of Nitro Game Injection. This has been episode number 314. It's June 23rd, 2018. And I'm out of here. See you later.